And San Diego's red flag warning, it just expired, and many people now have their power back on after SDG&E's planned power outages. Our tennis reporter, Rena Nakano, spoke to neighbors who spent the last two days in the dark. She joins us now from Alpine. Arena Powers back on just in time for those people. Yeah, it's back in time just for trick or treating. Of course, it's Halloween. We're out here in Alpine right now where the power was restored this morning. The wind's not too strong, which is a good thing. Let's turn your attention to the iconic VFW flag out here in Alpine. It's waving, but not as vigorously as it was just a few days ago. Now, earlier today, we visited Descanso where the elementary school is closed for the day due to the regional power shutoffs. And as a result, the school's Halloween carnival was moved to November 1st. The Descanso Library was one of the SDG&E's official resource centers where people could go to get snacks and charge their phones. That's where we met Susan Jacobs. The Guatai resident hasn't had power for the last two days. She was worried that she wouldn't be able to celebrate her favorite holiday. I love Halloween. I always dress up at my work. I'm the nurse who always comes to work dressed up. So I hope that they get the electric back on so kids can do their trick or treating. Now, without power, Jacob said that her home was below 50 degrees and she was not able to turn her fireplace on because, of course, the fire danger. And that's why she really, really wanted her power back. Now, coming up at 7 o'clock, we're here in Alpine, here at the VFW. More on the festivities here that are still planned and ready to go. Reporting live in Alpine, I'm Rena Nakano, 10 News. Nice to see those calm conditions there, Rena.